Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, good evening. Hey, hey. Welcome to today's class. Well, tonight's class, actually. <laughs> okay. Welcome, welcome. We have Miss Carla Flores, Miss Janet Ayala, Mr. Oscar Aguirre, and Mr. Cesar Vidal. Welcome, please. Be welcome. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, fine. Are you? I'm doing great as well. Thank you. It was a wonderful day. <laughs> it was a good day. Let me just get the computers, PowerPoints. All right, how about your day? How was it? Did you have a good weekend? Did you have a good day? I have a... Good evening, a... good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening. yes. You were saying, mister? You had a good weekend, you had a good day. Relaxing, no bad. No bad, no bad. All right. Personal, nice. In my personal case, I had a good weekend. Nice. Yeah, Mr. Vidal says, tra Trabajo, traje, trabajo acá. Oh my God, that's too much. So you bring more work home. Yeah, so you didn't finish. Yeah. In my uh, office, some people are doing home office. So they got sick. So they are, they take their computers home and they continue working home because of that. But that's For me, right. it was a sad day. A sad day. What happened? Because returned to my job. Ah. I was working. <laughs> I was working at home. You were doing home office, and now you return. Yes. But you are good now. You're fine. Yes, I'm good. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God. Yes, that's great. Yeah, it's, okay. it's okay. You miss your partners. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Today returns our partner that left the first week in January. She returns today too. She was doing home office for about three weeks. Mm -hmm. But our boss stayed home. <laughs> so it's like they are changing, interchanging <laughs> turns. It's so weird. Well, we're going to have a small class today, it seems like. Yes, I see. Well, let me check it out. We are going to have our class number nine. Imagine. Class number nine. All right. Well, just a reminder. And of course, are we talking about food today? Yes. <laughs> We're talking about food. So these are the objectives for today's class. It would be, yes, to name different types of food and to express likes and dislikes about food. All right. Okay, here we have the pyramid, the famous pyramid that everybody knows and nobody follows. <laughs> Okay, at the bottom of the pyramid, we have bread, cereals, and potatoes. So bread, uh, maybe pastas, right? Potatoes, potato chips, right? Or mashed potato, or bread sticks, or yeah, that's what you usually have at the bottom. And we are supposed to have, ideally, four servings of this type of food per day, right? In the second level of the pyramid, we have fruits and vegetables. We're supposed to have from two to four servings per day. So we usually have, yes, kiwi, bananas, oranges, 
apples, strawberries. There are so many more fruits, of course, right? And fruits also depends on the, um, of the region because in some countries, uh, there are some fruits. In some other countries, definitely there are some other fruits, right? For instance, the tropical fruits that we have in, uh, in our region in Central America, probably uh, can, those fruits cannot be found in any other country, right? But then the vegetables, we have carrots, broccoli, uh, what are these, green peas, tomatoes, peppers, right? Onions. So we usually put these vegetables into the, the food we prepare, right? So if we prepare chicken, if we prepare meat, if we prepare any other type of food, we usually put the, the vegetables in there, right? Okay, and then we have the other column, which is milk, cheese, and dairy. Dairy is lactose in general, right? So it's milk, cheese, and dairy products, right? So we can have three servings per day. So they usually got yogurt, cheese, I guess this is jelly or jello. <laughs> okay, and then we got the meat, fish, and alternatives. Alternatives, I guess they... they um. They talk about substitutes, for instance, when they talk about tuna, they talk about sardines, probably, or any other type of seafood, or any other type of meat, right? Because we don't have pork here, we don't have lambs, probably that's what they talk about, which is oh, turkey as well, or ham. Because here they just have a chicken and a piece of fish, I guess, and a piece of steak. So we can have two servings per day. Well, we usually have one, I think, right, just during the lunch. That we usually have uh, a big protein like this one. And the last one. Wait a second. The last one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fat oils in confectionery, I guess that refers to sweets, right? Candies. And sparkling occasionally. Yes, good <laughs> desserts <laughs> with coffee. I know. I guess this is an expression in English. When you love something sweet, you say, oh, I have a sweet tooth. Like, tengo un diente dulce. <laughs> so, it's like you love sweet things, sweet food. I usually like to have a piece of dessert after lunch. I don't know why I think it's... Some people say that uh, sugar is addictive. So, you get an addiction to sugar. But it's that... I, I don't know. I just, I just like the way it feels, the way it tastes when you have a piece of... Maybe not a big piece of cake, but a piece of dessert with a cup of coffee after lunch. I love it. But, you know, we become fat. <laughs> and then it's not fun anymore. <laughs> okay. So this is the vocabulary. Yes, sir. Teacher. Yes. Tropical body. <laughs> What do you mean by tropical body? I know it's a joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well, is there any vocabulary that you've been practicing about food? Uh huh. Let's see. On the chat, you can write on the chat. Write uh, three vegetables. We're going to be writing on the chat. I need you to write three vegetables. Let's see. Three vegetables. On the chat. I told you many vegetables already. <laughs> the name of three vegetables. Uh-huh. Three, yes, that's right. Carrot, onion, potato, that's right. Three, not just one, three. 
three vegetables. Uh -huh. Potato. Carrots, potato, with skill. Okay. As I mentioned before, some of these original vegetables or fruits cannot be translated. So you say the same. I love bananas as well as I like apple, moreover, strawberry. Okay, tomato, carrot, pumpkin. Mm -hmm. a strawberry, a strawberry cake. <laughs> Broccoli, tomato, onion. Uh -huh. Great. Now, write the name, the no, three names of meats. Meats. It can be fish. It can be meat, white or red meat. Three type of meats. Mm -hmm. Apples, tomatoes, carrots. Well, apples are not vegetables. Apples are fruits. Now three meats, three type of meats. The ones that you prefer can be fish, chicken, pork. That's right. Mm -hmm. Fish, chicken. All right. Uh huh. Okay, beef. Sheep meat, that would be lamb. L A M B, lamb. Ham, bacon. That's right, shop. Potato, <laughs> it's still completing fish, chicken, bacon, ham, turkey, could be, as well. All right, now write three, this is going to be easy, three cereals. What, I mean, three type of food that enter in this category, okay? Not necessarily cereals, like the cereals that you have for breakfast. It can be three foods that go into the category of bread cereals. Mm -hmm. Cereals. Mm hmm okay, rice, oatmeal, that's right. Okay. Sorry. I got this slide messed up. Beans, rice, yogurt, all right. Corn, beans, rice, that's right. Oh, meal, all right, yogurt, yogurt goes in milk, cheese, and dairy, I think, as well as ice cream. All right, good. Okay, before we move to that conversation, I'm going to give you some minutes for you to talk about the foods that you like the most and the foods that probably you don't like very much okay that's food that you consider are, are yummy and the foods that you say oh no i don't like that okay give me one second so i think here so one second please oh my god I have some crazy neighbors, you know. Let's see. Okay. So this is the image. The ones that you like, the ones that you don't like very much. Probably you have them, you eat them. But it's not that you are a big fan, right? So you say, what foods do you like? What foods don't you like? Make a list of the food that you say, oh, I love bananas. I love cereal i love milk i love crackers i love pasta but if there are some food that you say mm, no i don't really like uh kiwis i don't really like 
So probably don't like it very much. Yes? Is that clear? What you're going to discuss, what you're going to talk about? Foods that you like and foods that you don't like very much. Yes? Clear. All clear. All right, here we go. I'm going to make, of course, two groups only so that you can have more members in each of the groups. And then you can talk a little bit and give more examples, of course, of the food that you like and the foods that you don't like very much. All right, here you go. Hi Henry, my name is Carla. Mucho gusto. Eh, Mucho gusto. Gracias. Eh, vamos a decir qué es lo que nos gusta, ¿verdad? En inglés, sí. ¿verdad? Y lo que no nos gusta. Lo que no nos gusta. Okay. Sí. Bueno, eh, no puedo mucho inglés, ¿verdad? Estoy aprendiendo. ¿Verdad? Pues. Se escucha cortado, ¿verdad? Disculpen. ¿Hello? ¿Sí? ¿Va a pasar usted? Ok. Bueno, eh, la bisot. Eh, a mí me gusta la sopa de red, ¿verdad? So, ajá. Eh, uh -huh. No me gusta eh, mm, eh, mm, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. No me gusta. Eh, I don't like. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, Conchas, ¿cómo se dice? Um, eso sí, no sé, pero ya lo... Under light, a share, algo así. Shells. 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 Gracias. Mm -hmm. eh, y, igual... Eh, eh, cortar, ¿verdad? Eso, ahorita, <ríe> por un momento. Ok. Sí, ok. Um, I like um, the rice and meat. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like chicken no more. Um, I love the coconut and kiwi. So I don't like um, green. Love uh, cheese. So. <clears throat> I like uh, the meat, the pork meat. Sí, uh, I like the. Pero qué más esta vaina? No se mira. Pero I don't like onion. I don't like never on you. Never. Never. In the pizza? And no much. <laughs> Solo pongo eh, odio en cebolla, ¿verdad? Yes. Solo me gusta así en curtido. O sea, voy a curtido. <laughs> Pero de ahí no, no mucho. Okay. <laughs> I like, I like, ajá, cabal. Like. 
Ay, no recuerdo los nombres. Recuerdo, <risa> pero. Es gar es garlic. 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 Ah, ok. Garlic. ¿Verdad? I don't oh. like the garlic. Me too. Oh. <risa> eh, también. Eh, tú. La... Cuando, cuando digas también, digas well. 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 Ah, okay. No. As well. As well. As well. As well. Ah, as well. Ok, as well, pasta, eh, y puede enseñar cómo se dice, <ríe> perdón. Ah, en ese a momento. Chicken, a, a chicken. Sos un, acabas de decir que sos un pollo. No, no, chicken no, with no, onions. Ah, chicken. Chicken oh, with, oh. with onions. Ok, ajá, que es pollo encebollado. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Y lo que no... Eh, I don't like... I don't like it. Si, es, ¿Cómo se dice? Perdón. Eh, How do you say? Ok. Eh, ¿cómo, no, ¿Cómo se pronuncia cuando eh, la comida va con mucho aceite? Decirlo en inglés. How, okay. How do you pronounce? Okay. Frito, <coughs> perdón. Okay. Sería frío. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Fried. Fried. Okay. Fried. Fried fish. Oh, fried food. Oh, fried chicken. O dice we are low. With a lot of oil. Correcto. Eso. Okay. Or you can say even oily with a oily. lot of oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't know. It's. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps in, in the other. Grabs. Okay. What? Cangrejo. ¿Cómo se dice? I think crabs. Crabs. He's okay. very delicious. I'm like I can't. I can say it. <laughs> uh, uh, Turtle egg. Yo creo que solo una vez lo he probado. Vos sabes pequeño y no, no recuerdo que sea. I don't, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. I don't like. <laughs> And I love watermelon. Yes. Okay. I prefer coconut. Oh, to me too, Janet. Coconut is delicious. Yeah. In the with the in the in the frozen. La in the only kind of. Solo lo que no me gusta es la conserva, se llama verdad de coco. Mm. Ah, this is Eso delicious. Sí no me gusta. Yes. 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 Okay, bye bye. Hello. Hello. Did you finish the conversation <laughs> or you were just halfway? <laughs> All right. I heard some people didn't like some specific food. Some other people like other food. That's great. Well, can you give me an example of your partners? My partner, Brenda, my partner, Janet, or Carla likes, or Miss Kenny likes, or she doesn't like, 
whatever you want to say about your partner, okay? We're going to start with Mr. Cáceres. He was paying attention to what his partner was saying. I mean, we're saying. Tell me, Mr. Cáceres, what do you remember? Uh, he's getting like a coconut. Uh -huh. And Benjamin don't like the onion. Uh, Benjamin doesn't like onions. Doesn't so Miss like Kenny onion. loves coconuts and Benjamin doesn't like onions. And he too uh, loves coconut. Uh, he loves coconut too. All mm -hmm. right, great. Miss Kenny. <laughs> now that they say your secret, now you say their secret. <laughs> no sé cómo decir. Todos dijimos que amamos lo que engorda. No sé cómo se dice. We all love fatty food. <laughs> Fat, we all love fatty food. <laughs> but that is all Salvadorian. The greasy food. <laughs> greasy food can be greasy food as well. Uh -huh. Okay, Miss Kenny, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Janet, mm -hmm. I like a coconut. Okay, Janet likes. Janet likes coconut. Coconut. Uh -huh. Um, Cesar, um, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't like, does, doesn't like chocolate. Chocolate. White, white chocolate. Mm, because it's not chocolate, it's milk. <laughs> <laughs> and they tell you it's chocolate. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. And Aldair doesn't onion. Doesn't like onion. All right, uh -huh. Miss Janet, <laughs> something that you remember? Uh, Kenny loves coconut like me. Mm -hmm. uh, Benjamin, uh, he likes the pizza but don't like the price. <laughs> <laughs> and Cesar likes the white chocolate and all the greasy food. All the greasy food. So, Okay. <laughs> yeah, some people cannot eat chocolate because of allergies. They say that if they eat chocolate, they have allergies or they have migraine, they have a big headache and stuff like that. But it's not that they don't like, it's that they cannot eat it because of the consequences, right? If they eat it. All right. Let's see, Miss Carla. Miss Carla. Hi. 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 Um, uh, Oscar uh -huh. does like the yogurt. Um, favorite flavor, aloe. Oh my God. He loves yogurt and, and his favorite flavor is aloe. Yes. And Henry mm -hmm. uh, does like um, the... I don't remember. <laughs> don't 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 like is um garlic. He doesn't like garlic. Don't like he garlic doesn't. and um the full frill. Fried food. Fry fried food, yes. Yes, he says over fry or with a lot of oil food. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was it. Mr. Aguirre, what do you remember? Let's see if I remember. Carla told me that she doesn't like uh, garlic too. Mm -hmm. As well, he like uh, he likes yogurt. She likes like, yogurt too. She likes yogurt like me. All right. And I forgot her another, favorite flavor. Yeah, I forgot the, <laughs> another partner. Brenda or Henry? Oh, Henry told me that he doesn't like uh, food, free food. Fried food. Fried food, like the yes, fried food. over fried food. Yes, he said that he doesn't like food with much oil. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't like pastelito, yuca frita, <laughs> enredos. <laughs> we, for that reason, for that reason, we look like so. Shobbies. Exactly, you said it. <laughs> but some good tropical body. Don't remember. 
I don't understand that, Mr. Aguirre, okay? I don't understand the tropical. Suena, me, suena, suena mejor cuerpo tropical. Ah. <laughs> no, me... Okay. I got you. Yes. Okay. True. True, true, true. Okay, let's continue. Thank you for sharing very accurate information. That was really cool. Let's see. Let me just move so many things here. All right. We have a conversation about food, definitely, right? <laughs> but let me move because so many things, as I told you, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to move this right here, okay? All right. It says, Adam and Amanda are talking, right? So Adam says, what do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. So they are planning to go on a picnic, right? And they are checking what food they have and what food they don't have in the refrigerator. So once again, it says, what do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade and let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. All right, I need you to check the conversation once again, read, try to read all the conversation and tell me if there are some difficult words or do, there are some words that you need to double check the pronunciation or the meaning, okay? Tell me. One minute to lemonade. 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 Let's get some lemonade. Let's get some pink a strawberry lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> what do you prefer? The lemonade with water or with soda? Um, both. Both. It depends, right? Yes. Both are delicious. With a mm -hmm. lot of ice. Uh-huh. What else? What else? Any other word? Any other difficult word? Or meaning, probably? No? You Potato can, salad? Teacher, yes? Can you explain us the difference between any and some? And, and some. some. Yes, yeah? sure. Or, some and any, both are for... I'm going to say this in Spanish. Cuando no sabemos las cantidades exactas. But in English, we use some for affirmative, any for negative and questions. Pero es que tenemos algo de pan, tenemos algo de, de, de pollo, dicen cuando quiere hacer algo. Por ejemplo, ellos están hablando de un picnic and they want to make some sandwiches, right? So what do they need for the sandwiches? They need some bread, they need some chicken. Some es como... No estoy diciendo la cantidad exacta o específica, ni una libra, ni nada de eso. Estoy diciendo sí que hay algo de, o sea, hay un poco de pollo, un poco de pan, pero no digo la cantidad exacta. So, that's why I use some in affirmative sentences and I use any in negative and questions. Do we have any drinks? Yes. That's why he said, do we have any drinks? Okay. And... We don't have any cheese. Entonces, any and some es el mismo significado, solo que gramaticalmente some se usa para oraciones afirmativas, any para negativas y questions. Yes? When the quantity is not an exact quantity. All right? Anything else? 
Good. Listen to me. Anything else? Anything <laughs> else? <laughs> uh -huh. Tell me. Tell me, tell me. Tell me why. No. No questions. All right. Perfect. Yo, yo, yo no más teacher, se lo, se lo hacía a mención porque en la plataforma ahí está y no voy a hacer que después estén preguntando porque pues no voy a... Tienen doubts. Pues, yes, it's okay. No, it's, it's fine. No problem. Sí, pero como les decía en español, la explicación a veces no tienen como una traducción exacta. Right? Simplemente es cuestión de uso. Porque significan exactamente lo mismo como un poco de, pero la función gramatical es son, es para oraciones afirmativas y para questions y para negativas usamos any. Yes. All right, no questions. All right, let's practice then. Let's practice the conversation en los mismos grupos que estaban, solo que rotense, ¿verdad? So first you take turns and then with the other person. All right, so here we go. Enviaré la captura again. Let's see, Mr. Henry is not joined. We're going to put him in this room. All right. Here you go. Ok, empieza usted, Henry. Ok. Eh, Adam, ¿verdad? Ok. Eh, sí. What do you do when you fall en pie? No. What no. do you want for the picnic? picnic? Ah, ok. What do you, what do you want for, for? for the no. No, for ahí, the... Es, ahí está. <laughs> Ah, that, okay. Eh, dice, what do you, what do you, but, perdón. What do you want? For? Eh, okay. Eh, the okay. picnic. The okay, picnic, okay. Okay. Hmm, how no, about? No, no. Perdón, perdón, no le íbamos a cambiar los nombres. Eh, es que ahí me, me confundí. Henry. Este, Hola. sos Adam y ah, Carla okay. es Amanda. Amanda. Ah, ok, perdón. Sorry, eh, what did you want for the picnic? For the picnic. For, for the picnic. No, picnic. Díselo bien. Picnic. Ok. For the picnic. Picnic. Ok. Mm, how about some sandwich? Okay, we 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 have we have we have some chicken and the refrigerator. Okay. <laughs> okay, All we have Amanda. some All chicken Amanda. in the refrigerator, <laughs> but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. 
Uh, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right, let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone likes potato salad. Okay, vuelvo a servir. <laughs> Back to Cesar. I'm back. You're starting to feel like Amanda. <laughs> Brenda? With Brenda? Uh, you are Amanda. Hello. Ah, yes. no sabía que había que... <risa> <risa> Adam. No visto, lo siento. Anda, Anda, is Amanda. <risa> yes. Ahí hay Amanda. <risa> ok, Adam. Adam seré yo. <risa> Uh, what do you want uh, for the picnic? Um, how about how about some sandwich? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. bread. And, and we don't have any cheese. Do you do we have any drink? No, we need some. All right, let's let's go. Let's get seria. Let's go. let's get some lemonade. Lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure, everyone. Like potato salad. Very good. I won't be Adam now. Very good. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who will be Amanda? <laughs> Anna. Everyone likes potato salad. Tengo una pregunta, Oscar. Dime. Por acá en, en la segunda oración de Amanda, mm -hmm. acá dice, how about some sandwich? Mm -hmm. um, a, some lo vamos a ocupar como pregunta o es any cuando es una pregunta. Let's see, let's see, hot about, oh, they say hot about some sandwich. Sí. Uh, lo que pasa que cuando son, ay, no me acuerdo en la, la, la explicación que hizo la teacher, es, es, que por, uh -huh. es que por naturaleza yo te puedo, o sea, sí, yo sé cómo lo uso por naturaleza, pero para explicarlo es que me cuesta. Pero mm. se reporta que, la, en, en, ah, ya te entendí, porque la teacher dijo que en pregunta era Eni, y en negativo, ¿verdad? Y en negativo, yes, yes, sí. Yes. En este caso sí se está usando some en una question, pero dice how about some sandwiches. Pero no es como el, el, no sé, la generalidad. Lo más general, lo más común es que aparezca any. Pero any. acá, ajá, lo que pasa es que la pregunta también es un poco informal. How about, ¿qué te parece unos sandwiches? Right? So how about some, algunos. Entonces suena más como que si Sería bueno que preparáramos algunos sándwiches, ¿ya? Por eso okay. puede ser una excepción en este caso, el some. Pero se puede utilizar any también. Mm, how about any sándwiches? Sí. Yes, of course. Solo que por lo general no es tan común. Right. La generalidad sería que el any y vaya en negativas y en questions. Uh -huh. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Pero llega un punto que por naturaleza... Nano, ni te fijas que está... Exacto, ya lo hace de forma natural. Uh -huh. ya, ya no lo piensa, pues, para decir, how about some sandwiches? Es como una expresión nada más. 
Ok. Uh -huh. Pon el hígado R otra vez. Eh, refrigerator. We don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Salad. Everyone likes potato salad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Más o menos. <laughs> es lo mío, ¿verdad? Deje de ser Amanda. <laughs> No, le queda mejor. Okay. How was the practice? How was it? Funny. Funny. <laughs> Good. Very funny. All right. Very funny. All right. Let's continue practicing. Give me one second. I just need to expand this. My God. Oh my God. Here. What is this? Uh huh. What is this picture? Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. What do we need for a fruit salad? Apples. We need some apples. We need some pineapples. Watermelon. We need some watermelon. Grape. We need some grapes. We need a strawberries. And bananas. We need bananas. Honey. We need some bananas, some honey. Pineapple. Some pineapples. Mm -hmm. Some grains, some grapes, uh -huh. some strawberries, probably. All right, what about for the cake? What do we need for the cake, for this cake, for this type of cake? Chocolate. chocolate. We need some chocolate. Grapes. We need some grapes. Probably. In we this case, bread. Arimo. Flour. flour. We need some flour. Uh -huh. We need some butter. Maybe but we, we can put some fruit. We can put some fruit on top to decorate. Yes, we need some sugar. Uh -huh. We need some milk, some eggs. Eggs. Right. How about for the butter. pie? Yes, yeah, some butter as well. What about for the pie? Apples. We need apples. Some apples. Flour. Flour. Some sugar. It's same to cake. It's very similar to baking a cake, exactly. The same way for the cookies. Okay, we're gonna skip this one because here it's a model conversation, okay? So let's make some sandwiches for lunch. Sorry, we can't, there isn't any bread. Let's make an apple pie for dessert. Sorry, we can't, there aren't any apples. All right, so following this example, we're going to make similar conversations here, okay? But we're going to be using isn't, okay? There isn't and there aren't. There isn't any bread, there aren't any apples. There isn't any bread is for something that you cannot count, count separately. For example, bread is something that is not countable. That's why you say, well, there isn't any bread. There aren't any apples, right? So in this case would be, let's make pizza for lunch. And then you have to say, sorry, we can't. Mm -hmm. There isn't any cheese. Exactly, there isn't any cheese. Let's make some fresh lemonade. Uh -huh. Sorry, we can 
we can't, there aren't any lemons. Exactly. You see the difference? There isn't any cheese. There aren't any lemons, right? Because lemons, you can count one, two, three, four, five lemons, right? But cheese, it's just a um, mass of cheese, right? So it's just a dough. It's just a bowl. You can count probably if you weigh like a pound, two pounds of cheese, one kilogram, one gram. But if you don't really weigh what the cheese itself, so you cannot count separately, right? So the next one would be, let's make a salad for dinner. And the answer? Sorry, we can, there aren't any tomatoes. There aren't any tomatoes, could be, or in this case, there isn't any lettuce, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry. There isn't any lettuce. It's okay. All right, let's make an omelette for breakfast. Mm -hmm. How would you answer that? Let's make an omelette for breakfast. Warren? Uh huh. Sorry, we Sorry, can't. We can. There aren't any eggs. Any eggs? Exactly. Sorry, we can. There aren't any eggs. All right. Let's bake a cake for the dessert. Um. Sorry, we can't. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we can't. There. There isn't. Okay. Any, any flour. flour. Sorry, no. we can't. There isn't any flour. Let's make some fresh orange juice for breakfast. Mm -hmm. They aren't any orange. Yeah, sorry, we can't. There aren't any oranges. Usually they have plural forms. You see, eggs, lemons, oranges, right? Let's let's have some French fries with our hamburgers. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Sorry, we can't. Mm -hmm. There aren't any potatoes. Sorry, we can't. There aren't any potatoes. Let's have meatballs with our spaghetti. Mm -hmm. There isn't any meat. Sorry, we can't. There isn't any meat. That's right. All right. Time ex oh no, sorry, it's time to talk. <laughs> Express your opinion about what you like. We already did this at the beginning. And what do you like to eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Any volunteer? Mm -hmm. What do you like to eat for breakfast? What do you like? Not me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like to eat for breakfast? What do you like to eat for lunch? What do you like to eat for dinner? Well, my case, I usually like to eat omelets for breakfast. I love it with what? Spinach? I love it with uh, mushrooms if I have, but that's not really often, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I love omelets with ham, with bacon, uh, if I have time, of course. If I don't have time, I usually grab a sandwich and I just run to work. For lunch, I usually have, well, I love to have, which is not that I usually have, I love to have fried fish or beef soup, but it's very rare that I find the place where I work, so I usually have whatever I find. Okay, sometimes just the sandwich, sometimes, uh, what? Well, a hot dog. I sometimes eat a hot dog for lunch because there's not much food there. And for dinner, well, I usually have mashed potatoes or with any food that there's left from lunch. So <laughs> I just have it. Maybe a soup <laughs> or sometimes just cereal for dinner and a piece of fruit. Uh -huh. Somebody wants to share what you usually like to have for dinner, for lunch, or for breakfast, no matter what. Yes? 
volunteers. Miss Kenny, she wants to volunteer. <laughs> uh -huh. Tell us. In, in my case, I uh -huh. love it in the dinner. Pupusas. Oh my God. <laughs> With chocolate, with coffee, with juice, with soda. Uh, Sometimes. But what do you have the pupusas with? Any drink? Mm. And the drink horchata. With horchata. Okay, good. With horchata or Coca Cola. Or with soda. With okay, soda. good. For lunch, for breakfast? For lunch is chicken with rice. And salad. And salad. All right. And for breakfast? And breakfast um, is common cer cereal. Cereal. Cereal and with milk. Or yogurt. Cereal and milk. No, and milk. Milk, okay. And fruit? Uh, no. All right, it's just the, the cereal. And cereal with almond. almonds. Almonds? Almonds. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the yogurt, right. the yogurt is a snack. It's a snack. For me. Oh, nice. Mm. That's good. Okay, great, bravo. Miss Pino is the only bravest person in this class now. <laughs> For two. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> okay. Mister, Mister is only talking in codes. <laughs> okay. All right. It's late. I see everybody's tired. Go to sleep. Take a shower, relax. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Get energy for tomorrow, please. Okay. I can't. <laughs> Impossible. The social network. <laughs> okay. See you, Bless you. Good night.